The ruling DPP's presidential candidate, Vice President Lai Qingde, has proposed subsidies for tuition at private universities, which tend to be more cash-strapped than public universities. The proposal is meant to bring tuition at private institutions more in line with that of public schools, he said. However, his election rivals claim he's throwing money around as a campaign tactic. Lai's campaign spokesperson hit back at the accusations, saying that Lai's rivals should have more sympathy for disadvantaged students. Let's hear what both sides have to say. DPP presidential candidate Vice President Lai Qingde recently proposed a policy of subsidizing private university tuition fees up to 25,000 NT per student per school year in a bid to shrink the gap between public and private universities. The proposal was attacked by the KMT's presidential candidate Ho Yui and TPP presidential candidate Ke Wenzhe, who labeled the proposal as throwing money around. However, Lai hit back, saying that his motivation behind the proposal was related to his own past experiences as a student. When Lai was in university, there were several terms where he applied for student loans. He also privately tutored a couple of students to help pay for his studies. In fact, there are quite a number of students in Taiwan who work part-time like this while in university. When they graduate, on average, it takes five or six years of work to pay off their student loans. Ko Wenzhe and Ho Yo Yi should have more sympathy for these students. In a reply to a question on social media, Lai said he remembered his days as a university student and the burden of borrowing money for tuition. Lai's campaign spokesperson, Guo Yahui, said that if Lai's fellow presidential hopefuls Ko and Ho had more sympathy for economically disadvantaged students, it would be to the benefit of these types of students, rather than to anyone's election campaign. Guo argued that if, in fact, the subsidies were an election ploy, how could this be any different from Ko and Ho, whose own policy platforms also involve spending money? This indiscriminate spending will cost 10 billion NT per year, and it's the taxpayers who will foot the bill. Also, when you use indiscriminate subsidies like this to solve the problems of disadvantaged students in higher education or low wages in the workplace, it doesn't get to the root of the problem. As a politician, you can call yourself elite, but you can't be cold-blooded. Kerr once said that school departments that don't lead to high wages could be cut. This demonstrates the arrogance of the elite. Now Kerr is talking about throwing money around to describe a proposal that would reduce the burden on students in higher education. The DPP rejected opposition claims that its candidate was vote-buying through a proposal to subsidize tuition. Instead, it called on rival candidates to debate the issues openly rather than hide behind rhetoric.